Imagine moving across Mars and being able to see through the eyes of a robot and pick up and move objects. Imagine flying through the solar system to learn the order and the movement of the planets. Or imagine entering NASA's space station Freedom where you can explore an orbiting laboratory and grab and manipulate objects. You can make all these trips without leaving Earth through the use of a new computer technology known as virtual reality. This virtual reality computer system at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center allows people to interact with computer-generated, three-dimensional, artificial environments. Humans can, if you will, step inside by using special goggles and a glove that enables the computer to sense human body movements and the human to see and manipulate artificial objects inside this virtually real world. Uh, you actually enter the uh, virtual environment. Instead of being on the outside looking in, uh, in virtual reality, you're actually on the inside looking out. When the user looks up or down, or right or left. The image shifts to appear in those locations. Training is an application that we think it has a, a, a broad uh, appeal for, uh, not only for astronauts uh, for mission training, but for uh, ground support crews also. Since its beginning, NASA has relied heavily on simulations. Now the space agency is exploring the limits of virtual reality. In Huntsville, Alabama, this is Mike Arrington reporting.